Yo guys, we are back and today we will build a cool but small feature that can help you to see if the DEX is actually paid. Often I'm on pump.fun and I see like users spamming like DEX is paid, I see them uploading like these fake pictures, even if the token has not bonded yet or even if it has. And other users, they're always asking like, is this for real, is this for real? So I thought it was a great yeah, idea to uh, create a feature or a Chrome extension that you can just have in your browser and click to see if the DEX is actually paid. So that's what we were building today and if you think that is interesting leave a like and if you have a question you can always put it in the comment i will do my best to answer them as soon as possible but if you want these questions answered quicker you can always join our discord server it's for free i will leave the link in the description we talk about the uh, token snipers there wallet trackers dex token hunters all this kind of cool stuff so if you're not in there yet the link is in the description and i hope to see you there All right, so before I show you the actual code on how you can build this Chrome extension, I'll show you how it looks. So I'm here on pump.fun and uh, you can select any token. Um, this is a bit of an older token, but what you can do is go into this extension here, open it and then just check now. And then you will see that it actually has two orders on DEX screener. And the first one is token profile, which means that the DEX is actually paid. It also does a quick rug check to see what is going on with this token. Now, if you would have looked at another token which is like newer and people start spamming like dex is paid dex is paid you can go here check it as well and here you can see that the dex is not paid yet so that's how you can identify really quick if the dex is actually paid or if they're just spamming to try to lure in people to buy the token so that's what we will build today and with that said let's jump into the code base all right guys so to have this chrome extension actually work we need four core files the first one is a manifest file and this just holds the general information about the Chrome extension with like a name, a version, a small description, like the permissions that it wants to use, like the host permissions, so the links that it wants to access from within the extension, and then some uh, information about the pop-up window, so the actual uh, layout for the pop-up that we will see in the browser and also a bit of information about the icons that it will show in the browser. So the next thing we have is the pop-up window itself and this holds all the markup for the window that you will see here. Once you click on this little extension, all the things that you see here and also once you click on the check now button, the text that you see here, all this uh, markup is actually part of this pop-up.html file. So that's what we have here. And then you have the index.js file and this holds all the logic for the moment that you click on check now to fetch the actual orders, to fetch the rug check status, all that logic is part of the index.js file. And then we have a style file that also in combination with our pop-up file will take care on how this actually looks like. So you have the nice background, like the status, uh, dex page status, how it looks, the text here, and all these kind of things. That's uh, provided by the style.css and the popup.html. All right, so let's start with our first popup.html. So what we have here is just boilerplate HTML. We have a title, and the first thing we do is actually reference our style file, because some of these components will need access to this style file. So that's what we do here. We make a connection using a link to our style.css and that's this file that you see here. So next we have the extension window and what we have here is two parts. We have the dex paid part and the rug check status part. And this is just the title and the class is referencing to the style file to have a certain yeah, layout. The same for the subtitle and then you have a message and an order list and these two elements we will use in our index.js file. And then you have the same here for rug check status and a small description and a message check and a risk list and these two we will use in our index as well. So these two things here and the check now button that is what you see here. So um, that's the title here, the title here and then the um, yeah, the, subs the um, small text underneath for both of them and that's what you actually see here. So this is our um, layout and in combination with the style file, um, it yeah, renders it like it shows here. So that's what this file do. 
The moment that we have a script that we implement here, so by using the script tag, we can reference a script file, and that is what we do here. So we say script, and then we have this index.js file here, and that is pointing to this file. And this button here has an ID, it's called click check now, and that ID we will use in our index.js file to see the moment that this button has been clicked to do some kind of action. So that's the whole setup of this file. So it's not much code, but this file in combination with the style will make sure that our extension looks like this. So the moment the user clicks on the click or the check now button, we have this ID and our index file here is actually listening for a click event on this ID here. So click check now, what you see here, click check now. So the moment someone clicks on it, then we will have this logic that has been triggered. So what does this logic have? The first thing what we will do is Chrome the actual, uh, yeah, the tabs. So the, the thing we need is the actual URL because we want to make sure that we are at a pump.fun page. So we need to make sure that this is an actual URL. If I would click on this extension here and you will see this not a pump, uh, not pump token page. So that is what we want to make sure first. So if we click here, this is a, also a page, but it's not a like a page for a token. So it checks that we are actually on a token page. So that's what we do here. So we need to actually get the URL or the tabs to see what we are actually or on what page we are actually are. And the moment that is true, then we can extract these tabs. And that is what we do here, get the first tab. And then if we have a tab, that's good. If we don't have a tab, then we output this message. And message that is just here, as you can see in our pop-up, we have a message here. So if it's not a valid URL, then we will just output that. That's the first check we do. Then if we have a valid tab, then we extract the URL. And the URL is actually just this thing here. So if we have a tab, then we can extract a URL. And from that URL, we need to see if it actually matches this format. And the format that we need is pump.fun coin and then the, yeah, the ID of the coin. And that's what you see here. Pump.fun coin and then the mint of the coin. So that's what we check here. Like we need to have a match. And if we have that match, then we move on. So the first thing we need to do is extract the coin ID. And that's what we do here. Match. So that's our match. And then we extract the first parameter or the second. Um, that it will actually return us the coin ID. And the coin ID is the mint of the token. So next what we do is set up our two endpoints that we will query to get this information. The first one is DEX screener. We need to see if there are any active orders. And the second one is the small rug check that we do. And to do that, we prepare our URLs. And these are the URLs that we will use for both of these services. As you can see, API Dex Screener. This information you can also find on the Dex Screener um, reference page. And this is the request that we will use. Check orders paid for by a token. As you can see here, you have the URL and that's actually the URL that we use. And this is what it will return. Type of order that was yeah, happened, the status of the order and when it happened. That's the first one that we will use. And the second one that we will use is the rug check API. And here you can say like the token, the mint, and then the report that we want to like, uh, request. And that's what we will also get back from the um, rug check API. So these are the two URLs that we prepare here. And once we have that, we try to do the next thing. So first thing we try to do is uh, request the information about the deck screener orders. And that's what we do here. We just have a fetch function that we use with this URL here, and then we will take the response. And if we have no response, then we will also say like, hey, there are no orders, so DEX has not been paid. And if we have a response, then we will go through all these orders and we will output them in a list. And that's what we do here. So we check, do we have something that received or don't we have something that was received? And if there is nothing that was received, then we don't have any orders. And if we do, then we take these orders and we store them in this list object. Order list, remember, that's just the order list. Here. So then we, we loop through all of them and we make a nice list of it and then we will output it. So that's the first check that we do. The next check that we do is a small rug check and we use the rug check URL. And also here we do a quick fetch and then we will see if we have any 
um, results that we got back and that we do that by checking the length of the rug check risks um, yeah, response that we got back here. And if we have no response, then we say that there is no risks found or there is a response, but the length is zero. That means there is no risks found. But if risks are found, then we do the same thing. We loop through these risks and we output them in this list that we have here. Risk list, that's the risk list that we have. So that's what we do next. So that's the only thing. And uh, again, that's the only two checks that we were doing, but that's, yeah, that's enough to see if the DEX is paid and doing a small rug check. Again, also here, if we have no match, that means that we are not in a uh, pump fund token page, and that's what I showed you before. So that's the code base. It's really small, but it's really helpful for a lot of people that want to know for sure and also really quick if the DEX has been paid for a token. All right, so the final thing that you need to do is then go to your browser and uh, go to the extensions page and you can go to manage extensions here. And then you enable developer mode and you can load unpacked click. If you want, you click on this, you can select the folder where your actual extension lives. And when you select that folder, you will see that it actually appears as an extension and then you can enable it and then it will be available in your browser. So that's the final step that you need to do after you create an extension. You can upload it into your browser and then you can go to a token page and just click the icon here on top. Click the check now button and that will return all the uh, rug checks and also if there is an order for deck screener. So this is how it works and I hope to see you in the next one.